friends, in today's video, I'm going to tell you how I clean my leafy vegetables like fenugreek or methi, uh, coriander and spinach or palak. Now, first of all, when you buy this, you know, cut off uh, the roots of the fenugreek or the methi and just take off the leaves like this. Now, when you're buying fenugreek, you should see that the stalks are uh, on, you know, the whiter side. They're like pale and white like this and not very thick. And buy these small uh, leaves. Don't buy those very dark, green, uh, thick kind of leaves. So if you see the stalk of these leaves, they're very, very fine and they're like white, a little whitish in color. So all I do is I just lay out a big newspaper, sit and either listen to my favorite podcast or I'm watching some of my favorite YouTubers or a movie or some series and that way the work gets done really fast or listen to some music too and uh, uh, one tip I like to give you is that uh, you know the day that you buy the leafy vegetables it's better that you clean them and keep them in a paper uh, you know wrapped in a paper like I'll show you how I do with uh, my vegetables and then uh, you know use them because if you keep them in the refrigerator after you buy them then sometimes they do shrivel up or even you know get spoiled so this is how the leaves should be, very small, very fresh and, uh, you know, like certain vendors, like I buy mine from a particular vendor only and uh, his leafy vegetables are really very, very different. You don't get that very stocky and thick kind of leaves. So uh, this is how I clean the fenugreek leaves, just take off the leaves. Now, if you find that some of the leaves have yellowed up, then don't use those leaves, just use the fresh green leaves. Now, uh, with leafy vegetables, uh, also you should use them as soon as possible. So you can see the color of the stalk over here very clearly. It's very light and very uh, tender. So look out for that. And uh, like I was saying, when I'm using my leafy vegetables, I try and use them, you know, within a day or two. Don't keep them for very long also because their shelf life is very, very uh, less. And when I use them, before using them, like suppose I'm going to be making some methi parathas, I leave some of the recipes of these uh, leafy vegetables in the description box below. I always soak them in uh, some water to which some salt has been added. And you'll be amazed at, you know, if you go after 15-20 minutes and check the water, you'll find that all of the mud or whatever sediments are there, they all just settle to the bottom. And uh, I like to do this at least twice. <clears throat> so then I just pick up the leaves from the water, put them in a colander and then I just throw out that water. Again, I put some fresh water with a little bit of salt and again soak them for about 15 minutes at least. At least for methi, you need to do that. And then now that my methi leaves are all clean, I just wrap them up in paper like this and uh, you know, put them in an airtight container and put them in my refrigerator which you'll see at the end of the, uh, when I'm showing you the coriander, I'll show you the box that I use and I just put it into the refrigerator and I try and use them up as soon as possible. So there's methi parathas that you can make, methi malai matar or methi puris or just plain methi bhaji, which I'll be uh, posting in a few days uh, with just plain onion, a very lovely, delicious bhaji. So now we go to the coriander or the cilantro or the kothimbir. So <clears throat> now with kothimbir, you can also use the stalks. Like in, in methi, we don't use the stalks. But in uh, coriander, when you're cleaning the coriander, sometimes the stalks are very, very, you know, tender. So, ten you know, use them. Use that. <clears throat> don't throw that away. Uh, because it really has a lot of flavor. So like when the stalk is really gentle and, uh, you know, I mean, sorry, uh, tender like this, just use that part of the stalk again pluck out the leaves like this and when you're buying your methi also i mean your uh, coriander ensure that the leaves are very uh, fresh like this and uh, i like to buy you know they call gouty methi a uh, gouty coriander uh, they have these small little white flowers on them. I'll see whether I can get some flowers in this video to show you all. But that just shows you that the uh, coriander is really fresh and it has a very different flavor. I don't like to buy those very big leaf uh, coriander leaves. They're called Chinese coriander. 
I guess, but I just don't like the flavor of that. So I rather go for this type of coriander. It's really delicious. And you know, even when you grind them with the mixer to make a chutney, you get this lovely aroma, and it really elevates the flavor of any dish. So again, I just wrap it up in <clears throat> paper like this. and uh, put it in the airtight container into my refrigerator and coriander has a long shelf life if you store it like this see this is the container so i just put it into a container and then i cover it up with paper <clears throat> so i just put a you know newspaper on top like this so that whatever extra moisture is there gets soaked up in the uh, in the paper and the coriander lasts long now we move on to spinach Like you see, uh, see, I can just cut off the stalks, and we're just going to use the leaves. Now, when I'm buying spinach, also I like to go for this baby spinach leaves, not the very big, thick, dark green spinach. I like to go for these tender, you know, kind of palak or uh, spinach. So, if you get your hands on this type of palak, the leaves are very, uh, you know, so tender and very small, rather than those large, big leaves. And uh, <clears throat> in this also, just take off the leaves with a little bit of stalk. And uh, palak also, I do the same thing. I put it in some paper in a box, and I cover it up with newspaper, and keep it in my uh, vegetable tray in the refrigerator. And palak also, I use within a day or two, not for longer. Leafy vegetables should be used as soon as possible. So either you just wrap it up in paper like this and put it in a container. I put it in the container like I showed you all, uh, <clears throat> and uh, just cover it up with newspaper and keep it in your refrig in your refrigerator. See, this is how I soak all the leafy vegetables before I use it. I just put it in a tub with water and uh, salt, and then after that, I give it a rinse and then let it completely, you know, let all the water get drained out. friends i hope you like today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever i put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note i'll say bye and i'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think This is Akshita saying bye take care stay healthy stay fit be kind and loving to one another so till we meet again bye